Hey, everybody. How's it going? Mike Morello here again of uh, CBSI and Renovision. Here's what it is today based on what's in front of me. I'm really excited about this one. Um, I don't do this kind of stuff very often. Usually I do, you know, uh, premium format figure kind of stuff or statues and busts, things like that. Maybe weapons, lightsabers, things like that. But I haven't done a helmet yet. And I'm really, really excited about this one today. So um, start with the box. I mean, you know, this is the uh, this is the Black Series Mando helmet that just came out. Uh, matter of fact, it just came to the store that I get stuff at today. Um, this was off of Hasbro Pulse. MSRP is 125. Um, cost on it is just around 100. 90, 100, something like that, depending. So you might find, you know, your mileage may vary on price where you might get it a little below MSRP. Um, eBay sales seem to be right around MSRP, 125 plus shipping, 130 plus shipping. Um, but anyway, I'm really uh, pretty excited about the box. Um, I think they did a beautiful job on this. And I'm kind of looking forward to displaying the helmet with the box sort of near it. So you got that sort of um, diagonal cut like them, which is really cool. Um, just some really cool box art. I like the the duo tone sort of like rust color and the, and the gray and black, and then it shows the features on the back. Um, and then you've got just another sort of front feature. Nothing nothing fun on the bottom. Um, it's a taped top. Um, and if you're familiar with the way these Black Series boxes work or the cardboard, you really can't remove the tape. So I'm going to open it by slicing the tape. I think that's really the best way to do it, find tape off. So, so don't do that disservice to yourself. Um, so I've got the tools I need today. Uh, it takes one AA battery. So I am prepared with the one AA battery. And what I'm assuming is a screwdriver uh, to get into the compartment for that. And then my trusty little knife to get in. So let's get, let's dig into this guy. I'm really, really excited to see what this thing looks like. I've seen other Black Series helmets and they're really nice. Um, I'm hoping this one sort of lives up to that. Um, I'm actually most concerned about the paint job. Obviously, um, I'm curious to see how they mimicked metal. Uh, we're going to find out real soon. So bear with me while I open up the tape nice and carefully, I'm kind of lifting so that I don't cut the cardboard. Um, so I can just cut the tape. They've done a pretty good job of keeping the flap tape down pretty tight. So I don't want to cut the box. Not that I ever plan on reselling it, but if I did, obviously I wouldn't want I wouldn't want the box to be ruined. So okay, so I'm in through the tape. Hopefully this just lifts. Yes, it does. Cool. All right. Seems to be packed pretty nicely. I'll show you the top in just a second. But you got, you know, the, the weird diagonal flap. And then inside there it looks like it's wrapped up so it doesn't get scratched. And there's some really nice inserts to keep it from rattling around in there. So we're gonna pull all those out. It's like these just sort of sit on the top, just a couple of cardboard uh, pieces that kind of sit on the top, and then a, a frame that's part of the box. It actually connects of the helmet in, which is nice. Oops. I'm actually just going to set all this extra stuff to the side. I'm really happy to see all this extra stuff. Um, don't mind my cat behind me. Sorry about that. She just can't be without me for whatever reason. So anyway, so there's that. And then inside you'll see that there's yet again, inserts along each side just to keep it from moving around in the box. So they've done a really nice job of shipping it, essentially. Um, I'm going to see if I can get it out fairly easily by tipping it. See if it just slides out. It does. So that's nice as well. It looks like there's another piece that just kind of dropped out. Let's put this down here. On the inside, I'll show you that in just a second. You've got the instruction manual here, and then you also have whatever's inside this little baggie, which I'm sure we're going to find out about fairly quickly. And I think that that's all that's in the box. Yep, that's everything. So let's just tidy the box back up. And I'll set that off to the side. Again, there's really not anything all that interesting about the box other than that they packed everything really nicely. But it is a really nice display box. So I'm going to set that off to the side. And let's dig into the actual helmet itself. So as you can see, they've, they've folded in the tissue so that even the edges don't get ruined, which is really nice. Um, get it out of the tissue. Slides right out. Once you unfold it, you don't have to take the tape off or anything. So you could 
technically put it back in this if you don't want to display it or if you want to sell it or whatever. And wow, on first impression, they have done an incredible look like metal. It is really impressive. The inside has a ton of detail. Look at all that detail in there. I don't have the greatest lighting here, so I'm really sorry. So I'm going to try to find the best lighting to show you. But look at all of that detail. Really, really nicely done. You have a crown adjustment for your head size, which is really nice. Um, so you don't have the thing kind of rattling around on your head. Some of the older helmets had that. It's really disappointing. Um, some really cool little extras in there. I'm assuming I have access to this stuff. Look at all those little details. It's really, really cool. And actually these little tan things, these are foam. So that's nice. So that's actually padding in there. Um, really subtle padding, which is really, really, really cool. Look at that. Look at that paint job. Look at how amazingly metal that looks. That is so freaking cool. It's great. It's got pretty decent heft to it, but it's not so heavy that it's going to like break your neck when you put it on your head. So let's dig into the instructions real fast and see what we need to do with the, the paper bag, which I'm not too excited about because I'm going to probably have to rip it in order to get into it. So if I can do this carefully, but it's just like a, it's almost like a, a waxed paper bag that like you would get roasted like roasted almonds in <laughs> on the streets of New York or something. But anyway, all right, so let's see. Oh, I know what this is. This is the flashlight for the side, which actually does do something according to the box. So let's see. Looks like I have to remove something in order for that to... We may do a little bit of a time lapse on this. <laughs> so this is, I actually have to read this. All right, so let's see. Um, so there's a battery compartment on one of these sides. How do I get to it? I have to slide this piece off, it looks like. Other side. This piece here allegedly comes off. Doesn't really tell me how, though. That disappoints me a little bit. I don't want to break this or chip the paint. It's so nicely painted. I gotta figure out how to get this thing off. Hmm. All right. Ob obviously, you're gonna run into the same problems. I don't know if you're as careful as I am uh, with these things, but obviously, I want this to be a display piece, and I want to keep it in relatively good condition. So. And given that this is probably some kind of a vacuum formed paint job, I'm assuming it's easily damaged. Um, but maybe not. I don't know. I'm not, it's not like I'm going to throw it across the room and test it, <laughs> though. So it tells you how to adjust the inner helmet part. And then apparently these pop off. But again, it does not tell me how they pop off. Okay, so that just comes straight off. That piece comes straight off, off, the, off this here, um, which I'm assuming then lends itself to put this piece on that has the flashlight on it um, that he uses in one of the episodes, which I'm assuming once I put the batteries in will work because there is a pin connector in there. Hopefully you can see that, which is going to insert itself into this pin receptor, the female side. And then when I put the battery in, I'm assuming the flashlight will work. Again, I'm having trouble getting this part off for some reason. And I don't know. Why? I can see that it gives. Again, I don't want to put too much pressure on it. Hmm. The instructions are very vague as to how it comes off. It just has an arrow, as you can see, just has an arrow saying, comes off, <laughs> which obviously is not all that helpful. So it does not say I need a screwdriver until I get underneath that, and then I'll need a screwdriver to get into the battery compartment. So I'm glad I grabbed the screwdriver. Wow, that is tricky. Oh, um, from the bottom here really carefully. And then it started to give on the way up and then it comes off. So now that I have it off, I can see that it's got four tabs 
but I would say be ever so slightly careful because it isn't the thickest plastic in the world. You don't want to break those tabs. Or otherwise, it's probably really difficult to get back on. So then that uncovers a battery compartment underneath there. So let's take the battery compartment off. Screwdriver again. It looks like it's one of those screws that doesn't really come out. So that's good. So it'll be nearly impossible to lose the screw. Then battery. One double A, which is pretty awesome. Because I think it really just, it only does lights. I don't think it does anything else. We'll put the battery compartment back on. And then already you can see that there are red lights, red LEDs inside See those. I can shut my light off here. You can see it a little better. There you go. Actually, I'm going to shut off all my lights for a second. And now you should be able to see them. There you go. Now you can see them much better. And they're in both sides. All right. Very, very, very cool. Extremely cool. All right. So that is that. Turn my light back on. And then now we have the flashlight bit, which should go back on exactly the same way as the other piece came off, I'm hoping. Maybe not. Yep. So again, there's tab holes for it to go into. It just pops on. There we go. And now... Again, careful of the tabs. I don't want to break the tabs. So let's see if I can sort of show you me doing it while I do it. Pretty good build quality, though. I mean, that, that pops on really nicely, nice and clean. Um, and then there's a little button under here. And that's what turns on everything. So now you've got the flashlight there, which is really, really amazing. And, uh, and it's also got the LEDs on inside. So that is super, super cool. I guess it doesn't stay on for too terribly long, which is good. That's, it, like I said, it only has the one, it only has one pretty quickly. There you go. I'm trying to get you to see it from all angles. And then I'm going to do the silly thing, which of course, uh, well, first, let me show you all around. I haven't shown you the back yet. So there's that as well, that detail back there. See, look how amazing this paint job is. I don't know what they used to do it, but really, really nicely done. Um, just as nice as on any of the statues. Um, I'm not sure I would say this helmet is worth a hundred and a quarter um, since it doesn't do sort of sound and stuff like that, like some of these do. Um, yet, in a detail perspective, um, it definitely has that going for it, which is which is nice, as they say. All right, so we're going to do the silly thing. We're going to put it on my head. And there you go. Please don't tell anybody I did this. I don't, don't know if you can hear me inside here, but and then what do we got? Where's that button? There you go. I don't know if you could hear anything while I was in there, but um, not terribly heavy and uh, pretty comfortable, actually, considering it's got the, the foam along the neck um, and an adjustable inside, which I have not adjusted for myself, although it was pretty close to my actual head. It's made out of rubber, but it's kind of textured a little bit to look like leather, which is nice. I don't know if you can tell that from this. I can try to put my cell phone light on it so you can see inside a little bit better. Let's do that. So you can see all the little details and everything. All right, so now, as I, there we go. So that should give you a fairly decent idea of what this all looks like, like there you, um, on that, to make it sort of look like leather. And then you're seeing all the little details and the LEDs and everything inside here. It's really super cool, really nicely, really nicely done job on that. Um, again, not a whole lot of features, but just a really well-crafted piece, um, pretty impressive piece. And um, I'm really happy to have this on display soon. So thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll see you soon. I have another unboxing coming up very quickly. Make sure you sub, uh, make sure you like, and uh, check out all the other Renovision videos. There's tons of content on here, and um, 
We will see you soon for the next unboxing, which is a bust that's coming in a couple of days. Thanks a lot.